There's no such thing as a gender affirming therapist. That's a contradiction in terms. Why? Because you don't affirm if you're a therapist. It's not your business to affirm. You come to see me because there's something wrong. Maybe you come to see me because a destructive element of you is wreaking havoc in your life. I'm on the side of the part of you that wants to aim up, man. That's what I'm on the side of. Okay, now I don't know what that means in your case, but we're going to talk about it. Am I going to affirm what you think? No, it's not up to me to affirm it. You don't get a casual pat on the back from a therapist for your pre-existing axiomatic conclusions. That's not therapy. That's a rubber stamp. Is anybody at any point explaining to these kids the, the, the real long-term consequences of hormones and puberty blockers? I don't think they're explaining it to the kids. So that has frightened me that it's become, that we're even talking to the kids about it at 10. They're, we're presenting it in schools. So this generation, they're the, they're the lab rats. Biological sex, binary. It's been binary for like 100 million years, longer than that. Temperament is not binary. Temperament or personality. So that's gender. So, Temperament is gender? Well, gender is a not a good word because it's vague and it isn't measurable. So do we need it? Why can't we just say temperament? What do we even need the word gender for? Well, I don't need it. Yeah. But what I would say is that people who talk about the diversity in gender are actually talking about diversity in personality and temperament, but they don't know it. You can have a masculine temperament if you're a woman. Maybe one in 10 women have the average temperament of a man. And you can have feminine men temperamentally. And it's not that uncommon because the differences between men and women temperamentally aren't that great. There are masculine girls. There are feminine boys. What are we going to do about that? Carve them up? You as someone who, who started your professional life, you know, transgender care. Yeah. Now you're sitting here talking to me. Um, and I'm a dangerous man, I've been told. Mm -hmm. Are you worried about Reprisals? Are you worried about how this is going to how this is going to play among your uh, professional peers? I am worried that I can't have conversations with any other peers. I don't know any other peer that will speak to me around these things that question it. I just don't think developmentally this is helpful to our children. You step wrong as a therapist. You say the wrong thing once, and like your bloody career is over. And now it's the same with physicians. How's that going to work? You gonna go have an honest conversation with your physician when he's terrified out of his mind that he'll say something politically incorrect during the diagnostic processes? Hey man, you're sick with whatever you wanna be. See you later. You want a prescription for something? 